Uh, my name is Ginger Levy. I have currently been enrolled in the Great Centers of Hope program for six months. Before coming to Great Centers of Hope, I was addicted to crack and heroin. Um, I was currently working, but I was living in a hotel and um, I was struggling a lot. Uh, I really wanted to stop and I could not. Um, and I decided to come here to help. Uh, my case manager uh, told me about positive self-talk. Um, that has been amazing to me. Um, waking up in the morning and instead of, you know, telling myself how, how unhappy I am with my life and look at where I'm at and look what you've done, I've uh, been able to wake up in the morning and look at the positive, like, today's gonna be a great day. And uh, telling myself God loves me, that I am beautiful, that um, I don't know what's going to happen today, but I know no matter what happens, it's gonna be great. Uh, one of the things that I've enjoyed the most um, when we go to church, uh, Pastor Clark talks about how your life is not dependent on you, on your failures, on the things that you've done wrong. It's all dependent on what Jesus Christ did at the cross. And that was a perfect thing that happened. So that has been very influential. One of the biggest things for me is um, that I can accept myself. Um, one of the reasons that I used drugs is I was just very miserable. I didn't like myself, I didn't like my life, I did not like what I was doing. There was just nothing good um, about anything. Um, I would like to thank Sunshine. Um, you have been a very big influence in my life. You have helped me so much to learn how to accept myself, to work on my relationship with God. Um, I know because of you being there in my life, uh, I've been given a gift and a purpose and I've been able to find that um, because you've helped me so much. I would also like to thank Gary Collins. Um, I always can go to you with any questions about the Bible and I appreciate that. And you've been so helpful for me in helping me to learn I would tell them that you cannot stop on your own. Um, how long, I would ask them, how long have you been trying to do that? Is it working for you? And I would let them know that despite how they feel, despite what's going on, there is definitely hope. Always there's hope.